Hello, everybody. You can call me Truscles, and welcome back to Alan Wake. Uh, we just got done with episode three. I'm going to stop doing the whole... Um, I'm going to stop doing the whole uh, where we left off spiel because this game does a previously on, so I don't have to do that. Uh, welcome to episode four, which, fuck, what is it called? The Truth. Episode four, The Truth. Let's get, let's just dive right in. I'm so excited. Previously Skip that. On Alan Wake. I'm haunted by the law. just took out my deputies a thriller i supposedly wrote is coming true the genre of the story seems to be shifting <sighs> it's turning into a horror story i was told that alice had been kidnapped but that was a lie we don't have his wife we don't know where she is her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you lie. You're suffering from various symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Fast. It's okay, okay Alan. Alan. Just let go. I felt groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. The door was locked. I was a prisoner here. Oh, hi. Oh. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message, loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. Uh... Don't mind me just snooping through another person's belongings, that's all. Or not. There's nothing in here. The fuck? Remember there being an elevator. Experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking 
an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. I was right that one time. His hair did get longer because now it's shorter again. Uh, his facial hair, I mean. There's no, like, hairs sticking out. See what I mean? Not to believe his words. When he, I guess he shaved in between the car crash and now. Weird. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. Peace but out, boy. Everything can be explained logically. Damn it. Beyond the shadow you settle for, there is a miracle illuminated. Thomas Zane, in the memory of a dear friend and a poet. Ah, I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring. Isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. Every time oh yeah, this sounds like excellent news, Doctor. To I'm totally the eating the crock of shit you're feeding me right now. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the I let him talk. Hartman I'm obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, I dug my nails into the myself. palms of my hands to stay focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Come along. Let's go inside. Here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. Scary, scary, scary. <laughs> Okay. I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Ooh. <laughs> Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on 
video games. It's trash, of course, but it does involve some small creative effort, which makes it receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. painted you. Okay. I was just struck by inspiration a couple of days ago. Dr. Hartman wanted me to paint landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing these things, a lot of them. The images just keep coming. Dr. Hartman likes them. He has them in his office. Yeah? He's very proud of me. He says I'm getting much better. I think I'm getting better. So, he's a video game artist, she's an artist, I'm a writer, Tor and Odin are rock stars. For a mental health clinic, it's awful weird that they seem to only be taking an artist. Hey, take a shot! might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. There's Tor and Odin. My rheumatism is killing me. There's a storm coming. Hey! Oh, what a storm. I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two are the Anderson brothers. Odin and Tor. They had a should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old, Old Gods, Gods of Asgard, motherfucker! Adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Oh, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah. Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. <laughs> Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson farm. Valhalla. We wrote it all down, lest we forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. Zane could feel the poems, taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear, too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. It says that there's someone's, someone's watching. Who's watching? Say hi. My head if you want up. to. I mean, it'd be cool. You don't have to. sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Tom, got any booze on you? Sorry, yeah, I don't. Uh, 
Oh. We have a stash of the special stuff at the farm. Oh, hi, Brittany. Own formula, local ingredients, <laughs> medicine clears your head right up. Makes you remember like moonbeams on the brain. Oh, I just noticed leather patches on the elbows. That's not very rock and roll. <laughs> just lost is all. Baba Yaga got to him too, the damn witch. She used us all, taken from all of us. Took my thunder, the witch. And my ravens, what was... What were they? <laughs> Memory and thought, the hag. She took something from you too, didn't she? That's what she does. Um, we're better off. This place, the lake, it gives you power. If you're a creator, an artist, a god. Nightmares shifted in their sleep in the darkness of the lake. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. She makes sure it comes out twisted and raw. Just ask the lamp lady. She knows what happened to that other rider. She's been using you, boy, and you let her. You went and opened the door for her, didn't you? Now, now, it was already open a crack. And whose fault is that? We're morally corrupt, disease-ridden, old and stupid. Doesn't mean he had to open it all the way, goddammit. Ah, uh, for... Lodge, we're here to give you the specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Please ask friends and family to schedule visits beforehand to ensure they don't interfere in personal space, especially when they're engaged by their creative process. Okay, so as Torrin Odin stated, the lake seems to give artists powers, power to create and manifest their art into reality. Oh, believe me, Tor, I will. Or is that Odin? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure which Anderson is which. Yeah, good thing he's not overreacting or anything. Disappear. My nightmare is the publisher people who want to make a contribution so they can say they made a contribution. And then we end up with mullets in there because they think mullets are funny, but it wasn't supposed to be about mullets. And now it's about mullets. And when it's in slow motion, they call it mullet time because <laughs> for marketing that mullet time is the hook we needed to go big in the target demographic. And they're not even kidding. They say it all like serial killers with straight faces and smiles. My nightmare is the writers who want to make everything from the characters to the toaster talk, talk, talk all the time and express their feelings so they won't shut up. And the writers won't shut up either because they have feelings too. And I have to listen to them because they're not scared of me. And everyone should just shut up, shut up, shut up. But I don't see nightmares anymore because I'm too scary for them. I take two pills every morning and one with every meal and four when I go to bed. And that makes me the scariest nightmare of all. Okay, then. That's progress on your painting going, bud. Got anything new to say? No? No, okay. What about you, young lady? Okay. She looks like she is hyped up on the happy Don't you pills. Humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriters in your room. You can get to your room by those stairs, Wake. <coughs> Something's wrong. I'm not myself. It's hard to think. There's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. 
I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. Take a shot, everybody! Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. <sighs> oh, I got, yeah. Okay. Where are you going somewhere? Oh. I'll be back. Tin foil and plastic wrapper in there. <sighs> Sorry about that. My hands I am back. Uncontrollably. Everybody, calm down. Put that down. Bert, I need help. Hey, wait. You stay here. 
I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? I'm always cool. I didn't know what the chaos was all about. But it could Odin's might chance. be your guide, divorce you from the sane. Hammer's way will have it say, rise up in their name, yeah. Oh, I can't wait for that part. Oh, guys, guys, you have no idea what's in store. Hartman kept talking, giving Barry the grand tour, clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practice hand on Barry's shoulder. Shit. Barry's here somewhere. Right, no key. My store. I'm taking it. Sinclair looked bad. There wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. If she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I could get the key to the office wing from Sinclair. I had to get to Hartman's on, office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd been keeping them. Hell yeah, Andersons. If you could come out and beat our wrinkled, adult, diapered asses, Bert, since you're so tough, Bert. We were on the road, man. The photo on the wall caught my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Hartman had been playing me all along. Hartman's the boss. The markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made at the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. Memory and thought. Ah, uh, I can't wait. Can you tell me about Alan's problems? He's more and more out of control all the time. The parties, he's so angry all the time. He's getting violent. He's... Do you mean with you? No, not with me. No, never. I... Sometimes I almost wish Alan would take a swing at me. Because at least that'd lead to a conversation he couldn't just march out of. But no. He just... Alan doesn't really sleep. And the work? Well, he's not writing. At all. He sits there for hours and just gets more and more frustrated. And I can't talk to him. Yes. Tell me, Mrs. Wake. What would you say to him if he'd listen? <sighs> I don't know. I want to say... I look at you, and it's not you. Stranger who resembles you, looking out from behind your eyes, and I don't like that guy much. And now it's all gonna go to hell. But you don't ever say this. No, no. I try, but he's not listening. He's too deep in his own problems, always going on about something else. I'm so afraid I'm gonna lose him, and we're not even talking anymore. He doesn't let me in anymore. He just keeps me in the dark. Well, if you can just get him here, I'll absolutely do my very best. Yeah, but doctor, you need to be careful with him. He's not just going to listen to you and cooperate. He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Well, I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut up of this. Just a recording. Come on. 
Sorry guys, I'm putting on a blanket. It's pretty chilly in here. There we go. Okay. So, whoa. Uh, okay, I can tell you right now there's no shadow-possessed wolves or dogs in this. Um, I feel like that might have been a thing at one point, but it was written out of the story. Because why else would these be here? Hartman wasn't happy. Mott could see it in his eyes. He quickly lowered his own. He had made a mess of it, and he knew it. The shame of failure was hard to bear. He hadn't expected Wake to say he needed more time. And he blurted out two days, less than Wake had asked for to show him who was in charge. But that wasn't part of Hartman's plan. Barry? Do you hear me? I'm going to sue your crazy quack ass to split. Barry? Ow. Uh, time. Barry. Man, I'm glad to see you. Hey everybody, take a you shot. To get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no. The cops found me a Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such. Or else, I'd sue their asses. Speaking of asses, that fed gave me a real hard time. But I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy, Al. But he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman, that son of a bitch, who tells me you're here, and I should come pick you up. But when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. What's... what's with the cutout? I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. That'll teach her. <laughs> That's a harsh punishment. Come on, pal, we gotta get going. <laughs> ah, dang it. Okay. These were all the pages I had on me. Please, you're sliding back to the... Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea. Hartman, what... shut up. Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just... Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. Oh shit. Oh, it was Hartman that that page was about. Yeah. Oh no. I got Hartman oh followed the fall of Alan Wake with his binoculars. When the rider hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare floated and kept burning even in the water. Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking, something the Anderson brothers would no doubt have enjoyed. But Hartman chose to ignore it. Wake was finally within his reach. Oh, yeah, should have figured. I don't have a light. Uh, no. Oh, wow. Okay. I know what to do. Because I have a key now. Which means...
gonna wait for those all to go bye bye. Oh no. Come on. Fuck. Okay, I think that's as good as I'm gonna get. I believe that this is where the Verizon ad used to be. Hold up. Let me turn off the music for a second. Okay, yeah, let's turn it off. Okay, okay, this is where, this is where the Verizon ad used to be, and I can tell you how I, I know for a fact that this is where the Verizon ad used to be, because I know that it was in this place, not specifically this room, but I know it was in this place, on top of the fact that they would have had to take away the Verizon stuff, as well as the Energizer stuff, um, I don't think that this used to be a Night Springs TV because the narrator sounds different, which means that this probably is the Verizon ad TV, but since they didn't have that deal anymore, they had to record a new episode of Night Springs. So I'm excited for this. I don't think I've seen this ever. Even the simplest things prove impossible. Consider. You get Can you hear it? The narrator sounds slightly different. glad to be leaving this place. You have no idea. What, Night Springs? Come on, Linda. Relax. It's not that bad. Hey, what's that up ahead? Oh, God. There's someone in the road. I think there's been an accident. Are you all right? Oh, no, Linda! Oh, no! It was me on the road! I... Wait! Tell him to watch out for the truck! Watch out for the truck! My... my god, Mark? Ah! Oh, God! Oh, oh, please! God, no! Linda! Linda! Thanks for the ride, Mark. I'm so glad to be leaving this place. What, Night Springs? Come on, Linda, relax. It's not that bad. Hey, what's that up ahead? Oh, God. There's someone in the road. I think there's been an accident. Are you all right? Oh, no, Linda! Oh, no! It was me on the road! I... Wait! Tell him to watch out for the truck! Watch out for the truck! My... My God, Mark! There you have it. A vicious cycle, brutally punctuated by the blast of an air horn and screaming metal. Many roads are dangerous, but none more so than the one that leads away from Night Springs.
magic, parlor tricks, smoke and mirrors. But for some, magic is more than that. Another episode? The secret machinery of reality itself. And more than one member of the Eldritch Brotherhood can be found in Night Springs. No fucking way. Episode. What's in a name? We find an old man standing on an old rusting derelict bridge, leaning his bony frame against the cold steel. This has to be the Verizon TV. He is hard at work. His young apprentice attends to him, as good apprentices do. Yes, yes. Coming along nicely. Don't you think, boy? Yes, Magus. Sir, we've been getting some complaints. Are you defacing the bridge? Oh. No, I wouldn't do that. Sir, I can see the screwdriver in your hand and the scratches on the steel beams. You've been spotted doing this all over town. Yes. I have been very busy, but I'm no vandal officer. Exactly. What are you up to, sir? He's writing his name on the town. The youngster is correct. I'm writing my name, my whole name, the entire and complete description of my soul on the town. I'm almost done. Yeah? Well, all I see is an old man tagging public property. Oh, I should bow down to the wisdom of your years? Words have power, young man. Names and titles especially. Uh-huh. And, uh, what's your name supposed to be? <laughs> Tell him, boy. Tell him while I finish the carving. Officer, it's... it's... Say my name, boy. Say it. It's Night Springs, officer. But isn't that... that's the name of the town, isn't it? Yes, it is from now on. Wait, wait where'd he go? Hey, where is he? Oh, officer. You know where he is and what he is, don't you? I think you should get in your car and drive away, and remember which town you're serving. Your will be done, Magus. Ah, yes. There are too many little towns to count, all of them with some little magic of their own. But some towns have more personality than others, and none more so than... Night Springs. Another episode? The TV didn't shut off. Ah. Yep, that was definitely the Verizon TV. Manuscript page? Where? Oh. Hartman knew he was no creator. He had no ambitions on that front. And he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with damaged in ways that were hard to describe, or worse. It was enough for Hartman to maintain creative control and provide direction, to be a producer. That was what most of these people were in need of anyway. Of course, suitable subjects were few and far in between. Dude, that was so cool. I... I was kind of expecting an episode of Night Springs to be on that TV. I was not expecting to. Um, uh, uh, oh. I don't have any flares. Run! Oof. Out the door, out the door, out the door, out the door. It's locked. Ow. Shit. Okay. I see what I need to do here. Fuck. Ow, oh, it worked. Ow, ow. I'm here. I found the car, but the gate's locked. You're going to have to go through the hedge maze over there. Of course I have to go through the hedge maze. Oh shit. Ah.
Uh oh. Oh fuck! This is bad. It's bad! Oof. Fuck! Ow! Huh. Oh shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm trying, okay? Give me a break. Left is law. Not in this case. Al, hurry up. I can hear those guys around. Yeah, so can I, buddy. Oh, hey. Don't trust a meal. Thanks for the, uh, the warning. Yeah. I stared at the Viking paraphernalia that littered the area, surrounding an unlikely centerpiece. A full-size stage complete with an impressive sound system with all the trimmings, including a dragon. It took a special kind of crazy to build something like this in a remote field. When the sky split open with a deafening boom and the music started blasting, it felt strangely appropriate. Oh, I can't wait. Okay. I picked up the thing from there, so I need to go this way. Okay. Thanks for the tip, buddy. Yeah, I figured that was the dead end. Holy shit! Fuck. Ammo, please. Ammo, please. Shit. Is this it? Oh, but I know that... Shit. I know that there's a manuscript here somewhere. Aha! like leaving wake when he was surely at his most susceptible to therapy but this was not an ordinary storm wake had been riding and he had woken something up in the depths of the lake now it was coming for him hartman had naturally prepared for a situation like this the idiot brothers would keep wake distracted while hartman double checked everything just to be sure Stuck at one bullet, haha, <laughs> now you see why I never kill zombies in old RE games. <laughs> yeah. It's okay though, I think since I entered that light, no more are gonna spawn in the maze. Fuck, how do I get out of here? <laughs> Not that way. It's right there, man. Shit. Damn it. 
right, there's the light that I wandered into before. Ah, why do I suck? I found it so easily the first time, and now I'm all kinds of turned around. Yeah, good thing it ain't snowing. Son of a bitch. Did I just... Oh my god, what is wrong with me? Okay, that's a dead end. No, this is a dead end. Okay, back on track. Uh, fuck my life, what the hell? Am I going backwards again? I swear to god. Okay. Ah. That's exactly what I said at first. Hartman? No, that's the gorilla. Oh, fuck! Oh, where did I get ammo? Wait, what? Oh, fuck, I'm out of flares. Ah, uh, these crows are gonna fucking kill me. Bring it on, you sons of bitches. Let's get the light off of them. Make them come at me. There we go. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, thank God. You miss? Back up. Fuck, six fucking shots left. I'm so screwed. Or not. Oh, hell yeah. Mott knew that Wake was smarter than him. Wake had more money. Uh, it was called Bright Falls, I believe. calling the shots now. He'd expected Wake to whimper and grovel, but instead, he seemed willing to fight. Mott knew he'd gotten under Wake's skin. If only Mott actually had his wife. The thought made him shiver. It was called Bright Falls, yeah. Yeah, there was a live-action series of shorts that you could download for free on the Xbox Marketplace that came out alongside Alan Wake called Bright Falls that shorts serves as a sort of prequel. So if anyone listening wants to go check that out sometime, I'm sure it's a great watch because this is a great game. Oh, wow, what? I'm sure they are. That's why I suggested checking them out. Though I should have clarified that, to be sure. Fuck. I did not want to do that. Okay. 
amount of ammo anyway. It's, it was uh, unavoidable. Oh, thank God, a flare. Hey, what do you think you're doing, bud? Ow. Bitch. For the moment, Barry was just glad he had survived the fall. He had been separated from Al, and there was no easy way to climb back up. He told himself he'd be okay, okay in the gloomy forest at night. He would just have to wait for a while for Al to find his way down. Barry turned when he heard the heavy footsteps and saw the movement. The man-shaped shadow lunged at him from the bushes, an axe held high. Barry screamed and threw up his hand. The world exploded. Oh, I can't wait. Got to get to the Anderson farm. Emil made Tom do it. Whoa! Slow your roll there, buddy boy. Oh yeah, I think I'm going to need that flare gun. Yes. But what's this way? Oh, just more stuff. Hey Lace, good to see ya. subject he had had. Well, since Tom really. Sleep well, Alan. Hartman whispered with a Always smile. great to see you. We'll take care of you. He sniffed hard to clear his throbbing nose, swallowed blood, and barely tasted it. Oh, it's Barry. What did you expect? I'm a writer. I mean, obviously, I'm very skilled in all handguns. I probably covered wars once, who knows? Oh shit. Yikes! Yeah. Ouch! Shut up, Barry! Get the damn door open! Shit! Oh my god, Barry! No! Whoa. I don't have any more stuff! Oh! 
Shoot it! Damn it! I know that shit was already fucking loaded. Why didn't it shoot right away? Holy! Oh, fuck! Okay. Flare! Okay. Yeah. Fuck! Why? Oh, okay. You are a pain in the ass. Hurry up, Barry! Oh my god. Anderson Farm. Yeah! I can't fucking wait. Best part of the fucking game, man. Oh, the frame rate. What happened? I'm crazy, but that's fine, Barry. <laughs> oh, you got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest. But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Al. How can you know that? I know, Barry. I can... Al, I... No, listen. I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Sane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! Fuck. Oh, I'm sure they're fine. Okay. God damn it, I'll talk to me. Did you get thrown out of the car and all you have is a slight limp? Oh, no, yeah, you're almost dead. I lost my gun in the crash. <clears throat> Where are you? There he is. Forget that. Are you okay? I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch. There's no way you can climb down though. It's like a shit yeah. wall. Uh, Al, there's something moving down here. Barry, it's a taken. You're the player, Barry. <laughs> yeah. Barry, are you all right? <laughs> I'm good, Al. I'm great. He's actually got the fucking cutout with him. Oh, this is the best part of the game, baby! Well, once I get down there. Barry, just wait for me, okay? Ow! I'm not staying here! It's suicide! I'm going to the farm! I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area! You can catch up! Huh. 
Don't worry about it. I'm on the case. Now he's Rambo. This would turn <laughs> into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. Uh, it's not like he's alone. He's got old cardboard Alan down there with him. Old cardboard Al. Ow! Fuck you! Oh shit! I don't have a flashlight or a gun! Light! Ah! Uh, there's a shot over there! If anyone's got some liquor on him! We're playing- oh, fuck. We're playing a drinking game! Anytime I find a thermos of coffee, take a shot. I would love to be playing with y'all, but I don't have any liquor or beer. Shit. Now run. Oh, fuck. Ooh. What's that over there? Yeah! Ow! Ah! <laughs> Curse my curiosity. Oh my god, Alan. Why are you such... Oh. Light, light. Turn it on, fuck! Catch your fucking breath already, Alan. Oh my god. When he stopped the car at the Anderson farm, <sighs> Walter felt relieved. Oblivion was close at hand. The brothers wouldn't miss a jar of moonshine or two in the booby hatch. But then he saw the man on the porch, and he knew who it was. Driving for his life and knowing it was useless, he didn't realize he was crying until he couldn't see the road for the tears. If I remember correctly, Walter is the drunk guy that was in the cells in episode one. Or two. Episode two. Fuck! God damn it! Ho! Oh! Run! Turn it on! Ow! Turn it on! For fuck's sake! Wish this light could fucking help. Heal me, I mean. Oh yeah, what are you gonna do, Mr. Scary fucking object? You're just stuck there. Turn it on. Come on, man. Yes! <laughs> Fuck you. Whoa! Didn't even hear that one coming, jeez. Oh my god, catch your fucking breath now, Alan. For fuck's sake, your stamina is garbage. Oof. Okay. I think we're pretty much safe now. Safer. No such thing as safe. Shadows crawled over the gate. I needed a light to destroy them to get through. Agent Nightingale stared at the passed out ladder. The man was sleeping off one hell of a night. Nightingale felt a stab of envy at Wake's oblivion, but he had a job to do. He put the gun to Wake's head and almost became a murderer. His hand shook and his throat felt tight and dry. Biting his teeth, he tried to get the trigger. He lost the nerve. Wake stirred. Nightingale would have to settle for an arrest.
Okay. Ah! Beautiful. Wait, anything else over here? It's gotta be, right? Guess not. Wait, is that stairs? No. Oh my god, Alan, you're you're just terrible. I hate you. I hate you like a lot right now. But what's this way? That totally looked like a face on the wall there. Oh, thank God. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. And no batteries. Oh, fuck. Run! Oh, God. Go! Fuck! Fuck! How am I supposed to get this? Oh, fuck off. Batteries. No. Oh, my God. How the fuck am I supposed to get that turned on with no weapon? I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. I just run. Yep, 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 yep. Keep going, Alan. Keep going. Ah! Fuck you! No! Start it! Oh my god! And I just... Oh, fuck! Light! Uh, no! Fuck you! Oh my god, Alan, you're the worst! Oh god, Alan's stamina is just pissing me off. There's no reason he shouldn't be able to run for longer than this. Okay, where did that fucking generator go? I want to see what it does. There it is. Pointless. Awesome. Why the fuck is it there? Not like I could have fought those guys and then used that to heal up or anything. And there's another light right here. Fucking pointless. Oh, that was that. Oof. Bad game design. That was the single instance of bad game design that I have witnessed so far. Caught in the consequences of leaping before. Like, did they seriously just put that there to fuck with people or something? Make them think that's what they were supposed to do? Rude. The car was heading There's the Walter. Ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon.
Oh. Fuck yeah. Hello? I'm trying to deliver each page to the right time and place. I'm trying to show you how the story goes. Dude, if you get close enough, you can actually see Zane in his diver suit. I had seen it in my dream. I always kind of just suspected that the light was just that, a light. I mean, obviously the light is Thomas Zane, but I did, I, the fact that they actually put his fucking diver suit model in there. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my the dark presence followed the core. I'm ain't no track star, but I can easily run farther and faster than he can. Storm from one scene of destruction to the next, but it was still bound to follow the story and chain to the dark place it came from. When the story reached the end it longed for, it would finally be free. Oh, yeah, baby. Now we're talking. Heavy duty flashlight. We got flares now. Another page. Oh, it's not a page. That is a bear trap. Is that a page? No. Did that shit on purpose, making the bear traps look like pages. Was that the part where you were trying to start the trick generator? Yes, you were supposed to run past it to the... Well, yes, obviously, but why would they put that generator there in the first place? It's fucking pointless. Literally pointless. The only possible reason that could be there is to fuck with people and get them killed. Oh shit. The storm raged on as the Anderson brothers walked unsteadily away from the clinic with the other patients at tell, knowing that this time they wouldn't return. The darkness around them seethed with horrors, but Tor and Odin were unafraid. Their eyes glinted with guile. They knew every secret path, and there was blood on their hands. They had fought these shades before. Huh. Tor and Odin are kind of badasses. Be gone, ye darkness! Someone had left now we're fucking talking. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. Oh, yeah. The Taken are filled. Yep, yeah, okay. Thanks, Cynthia. Bullshit. Trick generators? No. Bullshit. It's all bullshit. I hate it. I fucking hate it. Shouldn't exist. I do believe there's actually a way in here. There it is. Oh, hell. Oh, hell! All right, everybody, take a shot. Um, oh, I guess this is just how I get out. There we go. And remember, there's bear traps. Oh boy. Oh shit. Yeah, there's always more than one! Woo! You know what? This is a good time for a flare! What? Who was it? Who hit me? Was it you? Or was it you? How about you? I guess it doesn't matter in the end. It all ends the same. An eruption of brilliant sparks in the darkness. Woo! Woo! No. No! No throwing. Very rude. I almost walked backwards into a bear trap. 
Fuck off! There you go. Have fun with that, guys. What are they getting set off by? What? Oh, sure, my flare had already gone out. Oh, fuck! That's a big one. Woohoo! Oh, fuck me. Whoa! Whoa! What? I'm out of flares. Fuck you, you piece of shit. Fucking wussies, scared of the light. But there was no sight of the driver. Well, Walter's dead. Hello? Anybody here? Ah! Uh, I'm sure he's fine. I can't run. I can't run. What are you? What is No, no, I'm sorry. I can't I can't see. H hello? Yes. You were in jail the other day. Hi Walter. To the farm again for the moonshine, you know. It makes you see they're, they're not gonna miss it. They're in the loony bin. Uh, my buddy, Danny, I lost him. Something's gone wrong with him. Uh, it's not him. Like a real bad follow-up to a real good movie. The best friend's suddenly the bad guy. Who wrote this crap anyway? It's okay, Walter. Just go into the light. Just go into the light, buddy. There we go. Good. Well, Walter's dead now. Nothing I could have done about it. I think that I helped him with it, you know, shining the light in his face. Oh. I'm broke, at least until tomorrow. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. I've written myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way. Near escapes. Cliffhangers. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who'll help me. I'll make it happen. Uh, how do I get out of here? There we go. It's so fucking dark in here, dude. Oh, I think we know where Danny is! Whoa! Everybody, take a shot. I just heard a door open. Maybe it was just... Okay, that's just creaking. The front door was locked. Son of a... The farm was still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. Oh. Uh, yeah, I have. I got a trophy for... 
uh, for uh, shooting five of them down. Oh, oh! How about that? Oh, flashbang! Locked? Yeah, I figured. I swear I remember there being a thermos in there. Aha! For a moment, Hartman considered strangling the idiot. Mom was <clears throat> unspirited, but easily manipulated. An emotional infant who lived for his approval. Wake, by contrast, was a far more difficult subject. Mod had given him too much leash. In two days, who knew what could happen? Hartman would have to find a way to rein him in, and quickly. All right, car time. If Barry wasn't up here, he was probably in trouble. Apparently, Alan Wake was originally going to be a Whoa! An open world experience. Originally, but um, that ended up being to... Uh, oh, hey, a thermos. That ended up being to... Uh, fuck, what's the word? Where you're trying to accomplish more than you can uh, actually... actually do. Had too much... Oh, what's the fucking word? Okay, I gotta drive a little slower, I guess, because these roads are super slick. Obviously, I'm gonna go up here first. Oh, hell yeah. Something that's meant for off-road. Oh, no. Yes! Hell yeah. Did someone just walk in? Hello? Can I get downstairs, please? What the fuck? Okay. Invisible wall. Oh, hell yeah. Forget this shit. That's my baby right there. And just from the color and the make of the car, I think this is a reference to Evil Dead because it looks an awful lot like Ash's car. I could be very wrong, though, and just pulling at uh, straws. Who knows? Wait, what happened to the thing I went to check out? That thing. Gotta go up. Aha! How did I almost completely miss this? The thing that I came up here to explore in the first place. War? 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 Is it war? Give me war. Well, as I'm sure everyone's noticed, that storm we all felt coming is finally here. The boys at the Weather Service reckon it'll last until morning, at the very least. Uh, pertaining to that, let me uh, read that missing persons alert again. The Sheriff's Department still... It's not war. <laughs> Damn it. Woman, 30 years old, slim and blonde with blue eyes. May be lost in the woods, and it's possible she's been injured in a car accident. If you see her, please make sure you get her indoors and call the sheriff. It's bad weather to be caught out in, so if you see someone in the area who maybe looks a little confused, give him a hand, all right? <clears throat> this is Pat Maine on KBF FM, hoping you're all safe and warm tonight. Got 
Gotta run away from the copyright. How did I know? Hell yeah. But what's that way? Ah, you know what? Fuck it. I want to get to the good part. I mean, this whole game is amazing, don't get me wrong, but this is the best part in the game. Hands down, no contest! Holy shit! I wasn't even aiming for you guys, that was just an unfortunate happenstance. Or, a fortunate happenstance, I suppose. Oh. Wait. Is that all there was? Okay, I'm pretty sure that's all there was. Oh, fuck. Hi! Here we are. Oh, baby. Gotta be prepared. Oh yeah, gonna need everything we have. Everything we can hold. Fuck. Six shots to the dick. Gets him every time. Whoop! Okay, so that father, that farmer there talking about stay away from my daughter. I know a little secret. Secret of his, to be exact. I know it's somewhere around here. There they are. This is... I, it's not a reference to anything, but it's definitely an Easter egg, because... I can't count how many times I've played this game, didn't know it existed at all. So, the farmer saying, stay away from my daughter. Classic trope. Uh, apparently he's killed a few people that have gotten too close to his daughter. And here are their remains. Woo! And now I have put them to rest. 
just a little. I think it's cool. Uh, the 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 concept. Uh, oh, first of all, the farmer trope. That's hilarious. Um, and uh, just the fact that the darkness was possessing skeletons just then. It's a pretty cool concept there. I swore I heard the, wh heard the whoosh like there was a stash nearby. Uh, there it is again. Where? Oh, right. It was in here. Yeah. There, okay. Anyway. Nifty little Easter egg. I love it. All right, guys. It's time for the best part. I'd known the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. Oh, best part of the game. Here we go. Oh, yeah, I just remembered something. Oh. So glad you decided now it's starting. Warriors, torchbearers, come redeem my dreams. Shine a light upon this night of otherworldly fiends. Odin's might be your guide, divorce you from the sane. Hammer's way will have its say, rise up in their name, yeah. Switch, damn it. Uh, memory and thoughts. Jet black and clawed. Ooh, children of the Elder God. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! This part is really cool, but it's really fucking hard, okay? <laughs> Scared of light upon the dark! Rake your claws and gnash your crooked teeth! You've taken slaves like ocean waves, now feel the ocean seethe! Father Thor, bless this war between the dark and light. In their songs, right their wrongs, bring disillusions night. Oh. Memory and thoughts. Jet black and clawed. Ooh. Children of the Elder God. Come on, reload, reload, reload! Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! Fuck! I don't even know what I was dodging there, but okay. Jet black and clawed. Oh, fuck! I 
I can't move! I can't move! What the fuck? <laughs> Nothing better than going against the horde with a killer soundtrack. Bright Falls, rock and roll capital of America. Now let's switch out for that pump action I tried to pick up earlier but couldn't. Give me a second, yo. I gotta recuperate. Oh ho, mama! Wish I would have known that was there. So this one doesn't have as big of a battery life. However, it deals a lot more light damage, so it burns off the darkness easier and quicker. I really wish American Nightmare was uh, available on this console because I would definitely stream that next. Because there is seller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. We need to get this thing moved out of the way. This is as far as I got before they ambushed me. I already see what to do. Uh, so, Alan Wake has a continuous story going throughout multiple games. Um, there's Alan Wake, doy, and that. Oh, fuck! Fuck! Anyway, uh, give me a second. Um,. So there's Alan Wake, and then there's Alan, Alan Wake's American Nightmare, which um, is not available on current consoles, even though it definitely should be. It's more of a spin-off than a direct sequel. Um, it does take place immediately after this game, this game, but it doesn't really have any lasting impact except for one thing. It introduces a character called Mr. Scratch, which is essentially a evil doppelganger of Alan. Um, uh, basically what would have happened if Alan was fully possessed by the darkness. Um, after that... I could just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. Yeah, it was pretty good. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? Thought so. <laughs> Anywho. Um. Okay, so yeah, there's Alan Wake, there's Alan Wake's American Nightmare, which the only real important thing it does is introduce us to Mr. Scratch. Um, actually, Mr. Scratch is introduced in this game later on. Uh, but he has an actual role in American Nightmare. But, you know, we're just going to pretend that game doesn't exist, I guess. Because we can't stream it. I, I kept saying I think it might be available on Steam or PC, but I don't think so. It might be. I don't know. Either way, I can't stream it. So we're just going to pretend it doesn't exist. Just remember, Mr. Scratch is bad news. Bad, bad news. Um... The story is then continued in a game that isn't an Alan Wake game called Control. And that's what we're going to be playing next. Sorry, Barry, didn't mean to interrupt you. I was trying to pick up the ammo, but... Job. What got you started? Is this one of your episodes? In 
Tonight's episode. The Dream of Dreams. Eh, that's by someone else. We join Mr. Jones as he explores the endless dreamscape, only to be brought to a sudden stop by a decidedly mundane situation. A long line of people. Hey, Jones, right? Listen, we're gonna have to wait until his highness over there is good and ready. Oh, wow, who's that? You don't know him? What are you, new? He's the guy dreaming us. Well, not just us. He dreams everything. All of this. But wait, no. I'm the one who's dreaming. I'm asleep. Isn't... isn't this my dream? Oh, yeah. <coughs> sure. Get real, pal. You're just another dream. I'm a dream. You're a dream. The weirdo in the diving suit is a dream. And the girl made of smiles and sunshine is definitely a dream. But I'm pretty sure I'm dreaming this. Well, maybe you're a really confused dream. What am I, a shrink? All I know is I'm going with the smart guys. And they say that's the guy doing the dreaming. Right there. I don't know what that means. It means we keep him happy. No sudden falls. We make sure he has his clothes on when he goes out in public. No chases where the monster is nipping at his heels and he runs like crazy, but his legs don't seem to get him anywhere. None of that. Because if he wakes up in a cold sweat... Oh. Yeah, precisely. So we wait till he wants to move on. Keep things nice and calm. Hey, something... something's happening here. Yeah? What's that? What? Can't you hear that? Oh, God help us. It's an alarm clock. Oh, it's you, isn't it? Please, man. I got a wife and kids. Please don't wait. I think it's cool that that episode doesn't have an outro. Again, Barry, didn't mean to cut you off there. I was trying to pick up the ammo in front of the TV, not turn it on. Didn't even notice the TV was there, to be honest. Aha! Take a shot, everybody! I love how my goal in this game has simply become uh, get my audience drunk. It's 1976. Madness reigns at the Anderson farm. Contrary to all logic, the headiest ingredient of their moonshine is unfiltered water from Cauldron Lake. The Andersons feel like gods. Odin can't stop laughing. He contemplates cutting his eye out. Oh! Thor runs across the field, naked, shrieking. That's why Odin has an eye patch. Trying to catch lightning. Their songs have power. Something ancient is stirring in the depths, coming back. Okay, so... The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. Oh, I see what you did there. So... On the subject of Old Gods of Asgard, if you liked the song that was playing during that awesome fucking section of the game, uh, you should check out the real-life band called Poets of the Fall, because that real-life band is the band that performed that song and the next song that we will be hearing shortly by Old Gods of Asgard. Old Gods of Asgard is Poets of the Fall in real life. So if you like the song that you just heard and the song that you're fixing to hear, I highly suggest looking up the band Poets of the Fall. Because, oh my god, they are amazing and easily, without question, my favorite band of all time. And have been since I first played this game, I'd say, what, 13, maybe more years ago. Incredible band with incredible music. None of their songs really sound the same. It's always got a different feel, song to song, but they're all gold. All amazing. And if it weren't for this game, I never would have discovered them at all. For I've never met another person 
No, I've met one other person that knew about Poets of the Fall uh, before I mentioned it to them. Just one. They're not nearly as popular in America as they should be. I do believe they're either from Sweden or Finland. Hence, them not being so popular in America. But oh my god, their music is just mind-blowingly amazing. Especially when they get heavier like they did with the songs in this game. Or that song, particularly. The next song isn't as heavy. In fact, it's pretty soft and nice and melancholy. Okay, I thought the truck was about to fly at me, but it seems not. Seems that's not the case. Ow, what? Oh, someone threw something at me. Ow! Fucking stop throwing shit, you jerk! Oh my god. You, bitch! You two are pissing me off in a bad way. Fucking didn't your mama ever tell you not to throw shit at people? not only rude, but I'm sure that in some cases it could be considered a crime. In a lot of cases, actually. I would say. Barry! How did you live without me? Wow! Those geezers had quite a production going on. You know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Good luck with that, pal. Hey, you find us a way out of here, okay? I'm gonna take a closer look at this stuff. They... See, that storyline actually goes down. Barry does go on, in the end, to uh, manage the old gods of Asgard, the Andersons. He brings them back on stage, and they do release a new single, which you can hear online. Um, the song isn't in this game. It is in Alan Wake's American Nightmare, and it's called Balance Slays the Demon. Have to find another way. And it is another fucking banger. It is just incredible. Oh my god, it's awesome. And hides a backwards message hinting at where Alan's story would take place next, which just so happened to be the game Control. Which, again, is what we will be playing next. Another amazing fucking game from the minds at Remedy and Sam Lake. Actually, I'm not sure if Sam Lake it was the main director behind, behind Control. I know that he's the main director behind Alan Wake, though. Yeah, I'm fine, dude. Everyone take a shot. As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the... 
You haven't missed a single radio show. Hey, I got a trophy. I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, how busy are you now? Deer Fest is almost here, isn't it? I, I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff. Which concerns an ongoing investigation. We can't talk about that, Thornton. I wasn't gonna say anything. I was just saying we got, you know, other irons to fry. And how would you compare your workload to last year's? Things have seemed relatively peaceful to me, but people do tend to get a little wild this time of year. Oh, it's wild, Pat. It's pretty wild. There's been all sorts of trouble this year. Vandalism, fighting, public disturbances. A lot of people gone missing, too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the uh, usual stuff, Pat. Uh, just, you know, uh, a lot more of it. Now, is it just me, or does Deerfest get wilder every year? People seem to be more drunk, at least, or they start earlier and younger. Oh, it's definitely not just you, Pat, but... Definitely, Pat. Hey, I'm talking here, Thornton. Uh, oh, shoot, I lost my train of thought. Not just me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's wilder, Pat, but actually most of the trouble seems to be coming from grown men. People who ought to know better, you know? Kids are doing fine. Actually, I do think Sam Lake was the lead director behind Control as well. Thank you for stopping by. I'll let you get back to your patrol. Sure thing, Pat. Yeah, sure thing, Pat. Because I... I think I remember seeing an interview with him and Poets of the Fall talking about their inclusion as Old Gods of Asgard in Control. Oh, and another interesting fun fact, not only are they present in the games as Old Gods of Asgard, but they also exist within Universe as themselves. and somewhere in this game is a radio where Pat talks about uh, the old gods of Asgard, and before he signs off and plays the next song, he goes, It had to be the Andersons' home on the other side of the field. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. Anyway. Uh. They are present, uh, Pat before he goes on goes off the air and plays the next song he says and here's a song or he was talking about the old gods of asgard and a little bit of their history just a little bit about them and before he signs off he says and here's a song from a band that actually reminds me a lot of the old gods for some reason oh my god for some reason and then he plays poets of the falls song war which, another fun fact, the music video for War is an Alan Wake music video. Live action Alan Wake music video. And it's phenomenal. In Control, they also exist as Poets of the Fall and Old Gods of Asgard. And two songs, one Old Gods and one Poets. Fuck! You can also find in the, uh, in the game. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, you sons of bitches! Woo! I don't have any flashbangs. I do have one of these, though, bitch! Come on! Eat a dick, bro. Or a bullet, that works too. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Oh no. I'm thoroughly shocked that there's nothing in here. Um, how though?
Damn. Thought maybe I could dodge under it or something. Is there a door in there that I missed? Somehow? Oh, a ladder. How do I always find the keys before I find the door that the keys need? Because I go the opposite way that the game tells me to go, that's how. Uh, Al? Is that you out there, buddy? Yeah, it's me. Hang on. Hey, let's go, man. Ah, I'm so glad you were all comfy and safe here in the fucking light. That I swear wasn't there before. We're gonna have to work together to open this gate, Al. Looks pretty heavy. Okie dokie, Artichoki. Hey, I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. We're you don't say. This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. We should feel right at home then. All right, time to get another dose of the old gods. Uh, it does not bode well. Just checking, covering all my bases, making sure there's no more coffee thermoses to get y'all motherfuckers drunk as fuck. Nope, you guys are in luck. Wait. Oh, thought I saw one. Hmm. The lights are out. I guess we better check the fuse box. In the valley of my shadow. Oh. Interesting. Stairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. How? Oh, downstairs. Okay, because we are downstairs. Okay. I mean, if the power is out downstairs, I'm sure it's down upstairs. So saying the power was out downstairs is a bit redundant. Hey, take a shot. There's Odin's axe. Again, Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. I followed my past self. I was an out-of-body observer, a time traveler in a crazy drunken dream. This was the beginning. The night Alice had disappeared. The mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about to reveal itself. There it is. Oh, it's so good hearing the poets. Can you hear that, Al? Music? Of course. We need to find where it's coming from. That's the message the Andersons talk about. That's the whole reason we're here. Lady of the Light? Oh, that's gotta be what's your face, the crazy lamp lady from the town. Cynthia Weaver. And now to see your love set free You will need the witch's cabin key Find the lady of the light gone mad with the night That's how you reshape destiny Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. 
Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is... Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, that's my boy. And don't worry, everybody. You'll get to hear the full version after this chapter. And I think that I can play the whole thing because... Uh, you know, it's a plot device. If I get copyright struck, oh well. Okay, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, I know. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. back from commercial break what the fuck why did they do it like that Observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls, the night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remembered Alice? being surprised Alice? to see the cabin dark. Alice would have never turned the lights off. I remembered thinking I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. Beyond this lost memory, there was nothing. I had to follow the footsteps of my past self to find out what had happened that night. Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Alice! Jagger had Alice, Alice, and so she had me. Alice! I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me. Made me her puppet. She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You laugh at the whole thing together and put it behind you. Alice! So fucked she's up, man. Here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you write. 
You killed her. Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Yes. I'll write. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. No. I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish, to interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story, and his light had been enough to set me free. It is here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. You will know I'm here. It will be back soon. It stole the skin of my barber a long time ago. She looks so old. up, confused and groggy, my mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. The week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. And that's how we ended up where we were in chapter one. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Shit. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and let this play. Why am I getting all of y'all's comments on my screen again? Okay, yeah, I don't want to risk it. Oh, shit. Okay, everybody, that's the end of this episode. I will see you in episode five, which is titled... Let's find out. Episode five, The Clicker. I will see you guys in episode five, The Clicker, which I'm going to start right now. Bye-bye.